Math 6, Quarter 2, Week 8, Milk Base. Let's learn about solving basic operations on integers. Lesson 2. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about Solving Basic Operations on Integers. This is Lesson 2 of Week 8. For most essential learning competencies, solves routine and non-routine problems involving basic operations of integers using appropriate strategies and tools. In the previous lesson, you learn about the basic operation of integers from multiplication and division of integers, addition and subtraction as well with an aid of number line. In this lesson, you are going to find out how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving basic operation of integers using appropriate strategies and tools. Routine problems is a type of problem with an immediate solution, while non-routine problems is more complex with compared to routine problem. Non-routine problems requires higher thinking skills, creativity, and critical thinking skills. It can also be solved in multiple ways. Read the following word problems involving integers. Observe how it was. Example number one. Letter A. When Miguel and Isaac woke up, their temperatures was 39 degrees Celsius. Two hours later, it was 2 degrees lower. What was his temperature then? Let's study the solution. 39 degrees Celsius minus 2 degree lower equals 37 or 37 degrees Celsius. The word degree lower is an indicate subtraction. Let's study another problem. An elevator is on the 29th floor. It goes down 14 floors and up 8 floors. What floor is the elevator on now? Step 1. From 29th floor down to 14 floors, therefore, the operation is subtraction. The word goes down indicates subtraction. Here is the solution. 29th floor minus 14 floors equals 15. Step 2. From 15th floor up to 8 floors, therefore, 15 add by 8 floors, the word up indicates addition. Here's the solution. 15th floor plus 8th floor equals 23 floors. Here is another example. Example number 2. SM department store Mark 250 pesos off of the price of each pair of shoes in stock. If the store has 500 pairs of shoes in stock, what is the total reduction in price? Step 1. Put negative 250 reduction per 1 pair of shoes. Step 2. Negative 250 multiplied by the total number of pair of shoes. Step 3. Negative 250 times 500 equals negative 125,000 pesos. Negative sign indicates reduction. Keep in mind that there is no negative amount, therefore the total reduction is amounting to 125,000 pesos. Let's study another example. Example number 3. A construction firm distributed 15,500 pesos equally for 20 laborers for their daily compensation. How much money will each get each worker? 15,500 divided by 20 laborers equals 
775. Since the keyword is distributed equally, it indicates division. Therefore, each worker would receive amounting 775 pesos for one day. And now, let us answer learning task 1. Answer the following routine and non-routine problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. If 5,850 kg of rice is packed in 65 sacks, how much rice will each sack contain? Here is the solution. 5,850 divided by 65, the answer is 90 kg. Number 2. If it is 25 degrees Celsius outside and the temperature will drop 5 degrees Celsius in the next 8 hours, how cold will get it? Here is the solution. 25 degrees Celsius subtract by 5 degrees Celsius equals 20 degrees Celsius. In the next 8 hours, the temperature will be 20 degrees Celsius. Number 3. David has 1,327 pesos on his checking account. If he writes a check for 1,987 pesos, what will David's balance be? And here is the solution. 1,327 pesos minus 1,987 pesos, the answer is negative 660 pesos. Number 4. Isaac has 250 pesos left. Rain gives David 500 pesos. How much money does David's have? Here is the solution. 500 pesos minus 250 pesos. The answer is 250 pesos. And for number 5, you are at 1,532 feet elevation and descends 836 feet. What is the new elevation? Here is the solution. 1,532 minus 836. The answer is 696 feet. For learning task 2, solve each problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. A submarine starts out at 200 feet below sea level. It dives 535 feet before rising 425 feet. Represent the current depth of the submarine as an integer. Negative 200 feet plus negative 535 feet equals negative 735 feet. Then negative 735 feet plus 425 feet equals negative 310 feet. Number 2. A plane is flying 5,000 feet. The plane climbs 20,000 feet to approach cruising altitude. After a few minutes at this new altitude, the plane hits turbulence and descends 12,253 feet. Express each increase or decrease in altitude as an integer operation and determine the new altitude of the plane. And here is the solution. 20,000 feet minus 12,253 feet. The answer is 7,747 feet. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!